Okay. Alright. Uh, let's try and finish this. Restart the story. What a mess. So what are we going to tell the officials? I suppose there's always the truth. But the Acolytes condemn Circlus's actions. Perhaps they'll forbid him from treating any further patients. That's likely. Then the Acolytes will become overwhelmed again and the injured won't receive it proper treatment. And our efforts will have been for nothing without the support of the civilians and nobles. Wait. Stay quiet, Volsus. Suspicious. Good evening. So, the worm, were the rumors true or not? To be in bed with sickness is very different from being in bed by sickness. Is it true then? Is Circlus the Paragon slaughtering the innocent? <sighs> it's possible that the rumors may have some truth to them. Indeed. <laughs> oh, Lord of Night. Well, only the rumors... The rumors only involved those who consented first. And only by his own hand. Still folly! Lord Makari Hari would never approve of, uh, of the taking in life of uh, any man unless he were an enemy and just given a death... And given just... And given a just death! Those who die in the ignominy cannot find grace in the order of his universe. Well, there's a first there's the first time he hasn't misrepresented my doctrine. <laughs> so, these were acts of mercy then? You could say that. But can acts of mercy stem from the shade of disgrace? Circles would only wish to erase their suffering. That I can be certain of. Though perhaps even he wasn't sure of his own methods. As he shouldn't be. As stated in the Holy Archive, to be in doubt is to be in deep folly. His own doubt betrays him and his status as a paragon. Priest? Yes, my son? Take a good look around you. Tell me what you see. <laughs> Why a cloister full of devoted clerics and children of Makari Hari? And what was your temple like before the presence of the Paragon Circus? Well, uh... A cloud casts shadows before the sun may shine again. News of Circulus's miracles has inspired new apostles to seek knowledge through faith, perhaps. So, it sounds to me that Circulus's presence has greatly bolstered the following of the temple. And with more followings comes greater donations. Am I wrong? <sighs> well, I never denied such a thing. Surely it wouldn't look good if the clergy itself persecuted or condemned Lord Circus, would it? It would not look good for the clergy to stand idly by, either. 
There would be an uproar if we supported such actions. Then don't support it. Perhaps you could have Circlus distance himself from service to your temple, but continue his work. I suggest you do not attempt to, pro to prosecute him. What does the law say in matters such as this, Auspicious? <laughs> there's no law, there's no written laws for death by miracle. <laughs> and if there were, there would have. There would have to be relatives to prosecute the accused. Very well. <laughs> the clergy will wash itself from the scandal and Lord Circlus can carry out Makari Hari's will as a pilgrim. May he find salvation alone amongst the sands of time. Huh? I guess that works. Let us consider this matter resolved then. Wait a moment. Yes. Vitus? We said that we believe there to be some truth to these accusations. Well, did they happen or didn't they? The fact is, we never saw Circlus in the man's life. Well, the acolytes say otherwise. Are you suggesting that the acolyte was confused? Circus told us that a man was too far gone to be helped by his treatment. That is to say, nobody could be sure if they were killed or not. not. That's my belief, yes. <laughs> then I suppose it will be mine as well. They're lying! I'm so proud of them! <laughs> because they know by doing this, they will save more people. Circus must still face responsibility for what he's done. Perhaps just not in this way. So, all of this panic was over nothing then? Sometimes, that's the best problem to have. Only Archive 1330! When the clouds part, the sky can reveal there was never a storm. That passage was... wasn't... a Nigerical. It was sailing advice. Shall we head to the bathhouse? Yes, please. I thought you wouldn't ask. I like to relax after this debacle. Go on without me. I feel a bit dazed and could use some time to catch my breath. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll meet you back at the manor tonight, then. Perhaps another time, Vitus. Until then... if you like. And what if I wouldn't like to? Then I can wait. I'm ashamed. I don't want any of these people to see me. They'll have to eventually. Could you return to the manor? And summon me there? Just this time? Only if you agree to talk with me when we're there. If I must. Yeah. 
Here we are. Hmm. Now then. It's time to talk. First, I have to admit, there are many things I don't understand. I don't know much about the Demiurges. Nor about magic. And definitely not about what you heroes really are. And the, mysteri and the mysteries about your past. But I do know a thing or two about contradictions. I'm sorry. Please, don't apologize. If you really believed in what you were doing out there, you wouldn't be apologizing to me. You said you wanted to stop those people from suffering. And I don't think that was a lie. Because it wasn't. But there was something dishonest about the way you were handling yourself. What are you hiding? When are you running away from Circus? Since I was very young, I had hoped that nobody would ever be scared of me. Because I was big. Because I was strong. But most people would often comment on how I had soft features. That was my private bit of vanity, I suppose. I took assurance from the fact that I could give others great comfort just by being a calm presence and as a talented healer. Fixing people who needed to be fixed? Touching people who needed to be touched? I learned how to sing because people said my tone was warm and jolly and brought them joy. I even took some pride in reaching for the things on tall shelves that other pe others couldn't reach, if you can believe it. <laughs> I can't. It's funny to see how much you like to help people. But in the end, I can't deny what I am. A very large animal. One who runs from things that scare him. And wants to destroy the things that bring him pain. And then, tell me. What do you think you're running from? I just... I don't think I know. Being in pain, the pain of others... They're very similar, you see. And the impulse that comes when the pain is too much. I just want... I just want it to go away. To destroy it, you mean. I don't know. Maybe? Yes. But I don't want that to be part of me. Circus, I think it's clear that is a part of you. That would make me a monster! I don't want to be a monster! And I don't want others to think that I'm bad! Well, you didn't act on those impulses today, did you? After all, there wasn't even a bottle of poison to begin with. No, I suppose not. Maybe that part of you is bad. But you still go out of your way to suppress your feelings, don't you? You stress over the burdens you take on double-edged kindness and you're still better at easing suffering more than anybody else I've met really I didn't want to save those people 
but you didn't do what they wanted for them. You did it for you. It's true. I didn't want to be considered a hero, or a saint, or a paragon. I'm just a very large animal. Everybody is, you know. No, well, maybe not as large as you. That's not funny. But you smiled, didn't you? <laughs> Anyways. I really am bad by nature. Just because you feel those feelings sometimes? Anybody could say they have a, they have a good nature. From what I see, those feelings don't define you. You're, in, you're good in your actions, Circulus. At least, most of the time. So maybe don't be so hard on yourself. Maybe I need to be hard on myself. Maybe in the end, that's the only thing I can make me that can make me good. No. I think you realize just now that you have an impulse that you don't like to feed. So why don't you? So why do you want to keep feeding it? I'm not trying to. Seems to me like you are. We already put a great deal of pressure on you. More pressure than most, I'd say. Power over life and death? Freedom from sickness? Those are extraordinary things that only you can do, Circus. They never used to be. People just forgot. Your legend isn't about other people, Circus. It's about you. Do you really want to know what I think right now? Fine, tell me. That the only thing too much pressure does is boil over and feed your impulse to destroy. I think you could do with less pressure for a while. You want to know what to do when I can't decide something? What? I start thinking about what I'll have for dinner. You're better off than me. I can't even think of what I want for dinner. Are you kidding? Not a bit. I think about the ingredients that I have. And then the spices, if I have any. Maybe a warm nettle tea to brew. And then I go about making it if I have the time. <laughs> uh oh, medicine starting to kick in. Then when I'm done, I wash my paws and face. I think about how good I feel after satiating those small needs. There's a big difference between dinner and a life. Well, not to the poor bird that went into the bowl. Huh. You're right, you're right. Touchy subject. You're not sighing so much now, are you? I suppose not. Some confidence would do you good. Let me think. Okay, how about this? See the charcoal and the wood tablets over there? For the next day, order you to write down your eating and washing habits on them. But you know that I don't have... But you know I don't have to eat anymore. Then I ask you to eat. You still deal with your patience and the temple, but I'm going to watch over you and make sure that you don't do anything impulsive again.
Hmm. <sighs> I've written everything down with a considerable amount of detail. Those are for you, not for me. I see. You know, it's harder to write this all down than it looks. I don't doubt that. The others are still afraid of me, aren't they? Well, it's only been one day. But honestly, I think they're more afraid of Zermes and Krokos running into one another in the hallway more than anything. <laughs> Those two still hate each other. We face far more frightening things than that now, haven't we? Thank you. I asked Volsus to avoid summoning you for this week, and the Demiurges agreed that this might be best. They actually agreed on something, oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of them to agree for my sake. I know that must be hard for them. Well, they'll pro they probably figure that they're getting something out of it. You're the kindest summoner I've ever had. Don't stroke my ego too much. I want Volsus to still like me before the end of all this. Don't worry, I won't. I just hope that I'm doing enough to be worthy to the rest of you. I always think I could be doing more. I should be doing more. Just remember something. If you don't take care of yourself, then you can't take care of others. I know. I just have to make sure. Keep fighting that simple, keep fighting that impulse. I'm trying. Think about all the little acts of care and small pleasures that you take in a day. Don't dwell on your troubles. I... Fine. It's tough to break habits. But I should thank you for reminding me. Don't thank me. You're the one doing all the work. Now, let's prepare ourselves for what's next. The governor still gives me the impression we still have much to do in Aeronopolis. If we need, If we need to face a difficult decision, I want you to try and face it. But if you can't, then you have to tell me. You don't need me to do that. I'll take on that burden as your summoner. If that bothers you, then try not to let it happen. But I have one other condition. I don't want you to stop writing. It will be done. Although, I doubt this kindness of yours will make me feel any better. Oh. Was chapter 1.2. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Apparently, we got something new. Let me know if there's anything you want to talk about, Vincent. Regardless, I'm more than happy to just spend time with you. Who to pick? Should we see if Makari Hari would? 
Should we see if Makari Hari would like to join us? Why don't we ask Makari Hari to join us? <laughs> because he's divine, Vincent. I don't think divine beings need to bathe. It's true. He does always smell immaculate. How do you know that? Besides, if he wanted to join, he would already be here. Ask me for what? Oh! <laughs> See? Oh, uh... Well, I can never tell when they're here or not. I am always here. <laughs> and there's a terrifying thought. Wise to be cautious of the divine mortal. <laughs> you can say caution is just another form of respect. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. For what reason have you called upon me? Do not keep me waiting, crown mages. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Uh, oh, well... Well, to be frank, it's embarrassing to admit how little I know about you. About you. I wasn't exactly raised to be a devout follower of the clergy. And that's probably for the best. Is it? Your ideas would be wrong and twisted. At least they would be based on what I've seen of my followers in this era. Then why don't we talk about something a little more personal? We were curious about whether or not you'd join us in the bath. Why would you ask such a foolish question? Baths are delightful! One moment. Why do I imagine- I imagine Mukaki's just gonna be like, Alright, let's go. He's telling us to relax. I'm trying, I promise. A god does not need to relax. Relaxation is but a convention to distract you from the truth that your mental faculties degrade with time. Divinity is internal. But, if you remain curious, I fashion this towel as I will not enter the water with my ceremonial attire. Now, that would be deranged. <laughs> he could rent a real towel if he wanted. Hard to fill out the form when you're invisible. <laughs> you too. Sit beside me. Uh, 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 uh. 
um, uh, now then, tell me why. Tell me, why do they put oranges in the water here? I can answer that. The oils from the citrus fruit diffuse from a high, from a high concentration in the <clears throat> the oils from the citrus fruit diffuse from a high concentration in the oranges to a low concentration in the liquid solvent. I still feel like I read that wrong. I know the inner workings of this world. No need to patronize me. Tell me what mortals feel when they engage in such disorderly things. Oranges make the water smell nice. So what you mean is that mortals can stave off their own entropy with the sense of life. Even though the oranges appear to, to be disorderly, there is order within it. Delightful. That's all I wish to ask. They're just oranges. Just let them, just let them have this. Okay, that was a bit hilarious. Oh, that was a bit hilarious. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> okay. I don't know who these two are. Who these two are gonna be. But well, we only have um, hair claws and Zermies, so yeah. Till then. <laughs>